today we are going to discuss about split morph coupling and this one is a figure of split morph coupling so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so in the last lecture we have discussed about the box coupling now it's turn for the split box coupling or it is sometimes known as split morph coupling and this is the figure of the split morph coupling driving shaft driven shaft this is the morph that is actually splitted in two parts so this is the upper half and this one is the lower half and both the halves are joined with the help of these bolts so let's start with the function of the split morph coupling it is used to connect two shafts here you can see driving shaft and driven shaft which are perfectly in axial alignment for transmitting power or you can say transmitting torque now the construction of the split morph coupling clamp coupling that means split morph coupling is also known as compression coupling so this is one more synonyms of the split morph coupling in this coupling sleeve or morph is made in two halves these halves are split along the plane passing through the axis of the shaft so here you can see this is the axis of the shaft and these are the two parts upper half and lower half they are clamped together with the help of the bolts the bolts are placed in the recess here you can see these are the recesses form in the sleeve halves now working of the split morph coupling so already we have discussed the different parts of the split morph coupling and here in this figure you can see the cut section of the split morph coupling so exactly you can understand the construction and working of the split morph coupling torque is transmitted from input shaft that means driving shaft to the sleeve through the key and from the sleeve to the output shaft that means driven shaft through the key again so ultimately the power is transmitted from the driving shaft to the driven shaft now next image for the examination so if you want to draw the same figure in the examination then it is a little bit difficult to draw because of these figure are only used to understand the construction and working of the split morph coupling but you can't draw the same figure in the examination so this type of the figure you can use definitely in the examination here you can see both are the shaft driving shaft and the driven shaft and this one is the morph that is actually divided in two part in the side view you can see and both the parts of the sleeve clamp together with the help of the bolts so this one is the front view and this one is the side view of the split morph coupling now next advantages of the split morph coupling it is easy to assemble and disassemble it is easy to remove without axial displacement of any shaft because of the morph is divided in two parts so easily you can assemble and disassemble without any disturbance of this shaft its diametrical dimension are smaller compared to the morph coupling coupling strength is more as compared to morph coupling it is used for heavy power transmission at moderate speed next last one disadvantages of the split morph coupling dynamic balancing is difficult hence it is not suitable for high speed applications so it is only applicable up to the moderate speed it cannot absorb shocks and vibrations because of it is actually rigid coupling as it contains nut and bolts it becomes unsafe thus protection must be provided its cost is more as compared to morph coupling due to more parts 
If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.